Alright guys, I wanted to put together this short video just showing the differences between the L87, L84 water pump and the L8T water pump that is found on the LT uh, platforms for the Chevy Pushrod V8s. Um, really the reason why I wanted to put this together is because I think there's some confusion out there. Um, people may have received these L87 pumps thinking that they're actually L8T. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that there uh, were some knowledge around how to identify uh, that these pumps are different. Um, very small differences and in many cases probably not going to make a difference for a lot of you guys out there who are putting together your LT engines, but definitely something to uh, consider as you are putting things together, whether you're using a mechanical fan or maybe even an electrical fan. So let's go through the differences uh, briefly. Now, first of all, let's start off with the obvious. Um, here is the casting on the L8T pump. And you can see here, it specifically notates HD. Also, this is 12699886 versus the L87, L84, no HD designation, and 12683468. So that's the first thing that you can probably, the most dominant way of identifying whether you have an L8T pump or not. Um, the other differences uh, really comes down to the threads for the mechanical fan. Now, I know that with a lot of the L87, L84 um, applications, you're not running a mechanical fan. However, there is a difference when comparing this uh, thread width with the L8T. So uh, I actually found out kind of the hard way because I ordered up the L87 thinking that, um, and this was a while ago, I, I ordered this pump up thinking that I can use an L8T um, uh, fan clutch. That's not the case. So the reason being is that, and I, I think the first indicator is obviously the color. They've got this cap that's green while the L8T is red. And the primary difference is that this thread width is thicker than the L87. And to further show you, this is an L87 fan clutch. And you can see how big that is. And it simply just fits right over the L87. So if you are planning to run a mechanical fan, the L87 is not going to work if you're using the traditional L80 um, or L8T fan clutch. Um, so you do need to make sure that you get the correct uh, thread width. Uh, and for my application, I'm actually not using this mechanical uh, fan clutch. However, what I'm doing is I am using it to center the engine appropriately to my Hummer H1 application here. So as you can see, um, the engine is going to be offset. And so what I'm really doing is leveraging the use of the L8T pump to help with uh, aligning the engine. You can run the L87 um, if you're not doing the, L, uh, you know, doing the mechanical fan and you're gonna be just fine. Now in terms of impeller size, I don't know, honestly. Uh, the one thing I did notice though is this is also designated with an HD on the pulley, whereas the L87 is not. So whether that means that the internals are different, obviously I don't know because I can't break this open, um, but those are some of the differences just visually from the outside uh, on the face of the two pumps. Now let's take another look at some identifying factors we look at the back side. So on the back side, the first thing that I noticed is that the casting is really kind of a little bit different. Um, I think this casting on the L8T pump seems a lot more refined. Um, you know, you don't see a whole lot of flashing and um, compared to the L87, L84. Um, the other thing that I noticed is these caps um, have a different part number. Whether again, that means that, uh, you know, this one right here on the L8T has a 2102. This one here has a 1908. Um, 
again, I don't know if there's any difference there in terms of what's going on behind those, but just something I noticed that was different. Obviously, um, the block, everything lines up on both of them, so no difference there. The casting, going back to my uh, original comments, you'll notice that this casting is a little bit different when you look at the ridges, um, and you know, you see some casting here, here, whereas this one is just a lot smoother. It just looks like a better casting overall. Um, so I do think that the L8 T casting does look slightly better. Uh, another thing I wanted to note, Tate, is that when looking at the back, I did notice that looking at the L87, L84, you can see that water um, outlet there. Um, whoops. This one right here. Sorry about that. There is some excess material on causing that lip right there. Um, I don't know if that's a big, big deal, but if you look at that one as well, you'll see there's actually quite a bit of material that uh, is smaller than the actual cutout um, or machine surface there. Compared to the L8T pump, I noticed a difference. You can see there's not nearly as much material there and it's almost, I mean, you can see a little bit of a ridge, but compared to that, uh, you know, there's a difference. Visible difference. The other thing too is if I look on the other port, the, that port looks so much better than that port. So um, you know when I'm looking at the the ports, they just look more refined overall on the L8T pump. And uh, whether that's going to make any kind of significant difference, I'm not sure. Um, the other thing I noted too is that when you look, a little hard to see, but you can kind of see the surface in here for the ports compared to the L8T, it's actually smoother in the L8T. Again, I just think that this is just a con contribution of maybe the, the casting just being better on this pump, but that was another difference. Um, so that's pretty much it when looking at the two. Uh, again, both of these will bolt right up to your L8, or I'm sorry, your, uh, your LT platform. Um, the one thing that I did want to mention, just in case if you saw it, um, this is the older, uh, I have an L86, so the temperature sensor I swapped out. And so if you saw that, that's the reason why that's different. Um, you'll traditionally have that temperature sensor there. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That is the difference between the L8T pump and the L87, L84 pump. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, happy to uh, you know look at any further details or confirm any numbers or anything like that that you might have. But again, I just wanted to make sure that the community was aware there are some slight differences. Uh, whether those are significant enough depends on your application. But uh, overall, um, you know, I think that the L8T pump um, just has a better finish overall uh, when just kind of recapping on the uh, the uh, the ports and, and then who knows what's going on underneath here with the impeller uh, for the pump so um, thanks and uh, again let me know if you have any questions make sure you subscribe for more updates as we build out uh, the Hummer H1 and uh, we start to get to put together that engine over there so stay tuned more and more